proved their Well, don't mind my appearance. It's uh, one of those days, kind of. Had a few rough days um, with some things going on and uh, some real good stretching opportunities for me with some relationships and just um, learning some stuff about myself too. So sometimes that's really uncomfortable and hard and painful and um, stuff. So I have not even done anything today except I did get dressed. Uh, and when I did brush my hair, but anyway, you know, sometimes you just don't care. You just don't care about looking your best. I probably should because I'm about ready to upload this tonight onto the internet so anyone could see it. But, um, anyway, so I'm tired. <laughs> I'm really tired. Uh, but things are good. Um, things are good. So, you saw we went to the buffet. Tim really wanted to take the kids as a special treat, and um, I really debated going because I didn't feel like I was in a good emotional space, really. And uh, but but you know it was a family thing, so we went. And um, I did not on uh, the first video. I, there was some shrimp on there. I ate part of one, and it was just it just grossed me out so much to have it without sauce, so I didn't finish those. I didn't finish that whole salad. I pretty much ate the uh, cucumbers off of it. Um, so the ribs, they did have barbecue sauce on them, but I used a napkin and wiped it off as best I could. I know it's not the best, um, but I needed things that I could eat that would be basically keto and not, uh, so I wouldn't be eating things that were super not keto. Because you're not a buffet. It's basically not keto. So I think overall I did really well. Especially considering uh, my life right now. But, um, which I don't want to make it be all doom and gloom or anything like that. Things are fine. It's just, you know, sometimes you just have some rough uh, times that you have to get through and um, stuff. So, anyway. <clears throat> I don't want to turn this... I don't, I don't want this video to be about this, and I actually don't even really want to talk about things too much because they're basically resolved. Well, they are resolved. I don't know why I said basically, but they are resolved. It's just more me doing some personal reflection and um, pondering on myself and how I can be a better person. And that's not always fun, and that actually is just kind of your whole life. I think we're doing that our whole lives, aren't we? Um... What was I going to say? But I am actually really proud of myself. I think in general I did excellent at the buffet. Um, I did not eat anything that wasn't on those plates I showed. So I'm really proud of that. I'm, I'm actually come back in a minute. Okay, so I had to take a little break and do some math with Oscar. <clears throat> but I just wanted to say that I haven't even been able to exercise recently because... Um, that medical issue is causing some issues, which I know I'm being totally vague, and I apologize about that, but I can't really get into it. Well, I could get into it, but I prefer to have some privacy. But um, also, I did something to my knee last week on our hike, and so that has really been um, aggravated and hurting me. So we didn't go on our hike today or yesterday because we had a little church thingy that we were watching. Um, with our prophet, he was speaking, so we, we watched that, but I am planning to get back on track tomorrow, and I think that's going to help me a lot, because I really need my exercise, not just because I need exercise, but because I need that, like, outlet. So, Stephen, no, no, naughty boy, naughty boy. <clears throat> um, anyway, that's just a, a brief little something that maybe you wished I didn't share, but you know, that's what this is for for me is to journey my, or journal my journey to keep myself on track to help me be able I'm mean, like to have something that I can look back on when I'm when I'm doing really well. Sometimes it's nice I, I like to look back and think, well, what was I doing that worked so well? So I can go back and look. And sometimes when I'm, I'm like, wow, I barely made it through that rough patch. What happened? What did I do to get myself out of it? That sort of a thing. 
So right now I'm just, um, you know, trying to make life as normal as possible and then um, uh, pushing through. Now, yesterday I did not have any ice cream, which I'm really proud of myself because I had ice cream four days in a row. Uh, but I think I'll probably actually have some today. I kind of told myself that I could. Um, so I will probably be doing that and it will be enlightened. So it's, I don't have any rebel left, but I do have some enlightened. So it'll be some of that. And of course I'll show you when I choose a flavor and all that stuff. But right now I got to get back to math. So I will check in with you later on today. Well, I'm going to give this one a shot. I've never tried this one before. So... The plan is to only eat a serving or two, so I'm not sure what will happen, but I, that's my plan. <laughs> okay, well, I'm sorely disappointed. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I thought there would be, like, big, huge chunks of cookie. I guess I'm just dumb. But there's, like, specks. So I'm really not sure if I'll actually eat very much of this, because I'm not a huge fan of cookies and cream anyway. I do like myself some... Oreos. So, um, yeah, we'll see. I'll probably only eat a few bites of this. But I might try another, <laughs> another flavor. <laughs> Should I video you? No. Okay. Okay, I hope I'm not tempting anyone too much by showing this, but do you see that? How it's like basically vanilla? No, I'm sorry, but that is not what you think is going to happen with cookies and cream, right? You're imagining some kind of cookies in here. So I'm really disappointed in this flavor. Okay, I took one more bite of that cookies and cream one. It was just basically vanilla, and I was like, no thank you. So I'm going to try this one. This is like a movie night one. I thought it was popcorn, but I guess I didn't read very well. Buttery popcorn ice cream with chocolate bits and swirls of caramel. Here is the well, nutrition facts. So I'm going to try a few bites of that. And I am so sorry if me showing you all this ice cream makes you want to have ice cream. Pretend I'm eating a hard-boiled egg and it's delicious. Well, I took a couple bites. It's not popcorn-y at all. It's chocolatey and caramely. It's fine. But really, really sweet. Well, we were able to uh, video chat with our son today. He is on a mission um, for our church in Guatemala. And we haven't video chatted with him for a month. And we found out today that for this last month, he um, has not been well. That he's had, um, he's fine now. I'm not entirely sure what happened to him, but they were doing a whole bunch of tests and stuff on him. And I guess he had asked his mission president not to let us know because he didn't want to worry us because of all the stuff we've had going on lately, which this mama wasn't very happy about because I kind of like to know what's going on with my children, especially if they're in a medical situation. But he is doing better. He lost 20 pounds, which he did not really even have 20 pounds to lose. So uh, that wasn't cool, but he's doing well now and he seemed really happy and healthy and stuff so it was very good to talk to him but I was not enjoying finding out that he's been sick these last many weeks so um, I ended up eating that the rest of that um, enlightened ice cream probably nobody's surprised by that um, it was way over the top sugary I will never buy that flavor again I'm not even sure why I ate it because I didn't even really entirely enjoy it Still, I think I'm still within pretty good um, macros for the day. Um, but, uh, you know, I just wanted, I was debating whether to share all this or not. But I decided, you know what, we all go through hard times. And we all have times when um, staying on an eating plan is hard. And I just... I'm not like super proud of that pint of ice cream or anything, but I'm also not like super ashamed. I could have made better choices, but I also was like, meh, there's always tomorrow. Um, I still feel like I, I'm doing amazing on my journey, really amazing, because um, I have not eaten anything that is non-keto um, since May 1st. Um, and even though eating a pint of ice cream is not the best, that was keto ice cream, and... 
you know, still keto. But, um, yeah, I have a friend that I've made on um, the YouTube. Um, well, I, I watch her YouTube channel and, and we become friends. Um, and she was texting me and emailing me actually today that she's, she's struggling. And so um, I just it just made me think, you know, I'm not going to erase the videos that I made today. I'm going to post them. They're not the most flattering and um, maybe a little more personal than I would normally be. But I'm going to post because I just want to be honest. I just want people to realize that, you know, we're all in a struggle together. No matter why you are doing a certain eating plan, uh, it's not always easy. So, um some people might be doing it to lose weight and other people for health reasons or both. So, um, I just want to be honest about it. Sometimes it's really hard and sometimes it's not. I have lots and lots of days where I don't even think one at once about keto. I just do it. And then there's days like today in the last couple of days where I stayed keto and I, especially yesterday was a very good keto day. But I stayed keto, but it was not not the easiest. So, hang in there. Find a friend that can help you stay on track, no matter what you're trying to stay on track for. It doesn't have to be keto, it could be anything. Just find a friend who can support you and help you, and um, be honest with them, and be honest with yourself. Um, so, it's just a little chat to kind of talk about things. I don't really feel hungry and I shouldn't. Um, I might have some herbal tea before I go to bed tonight. It's uh, 6 30 ish. Um, mostly I just feel really tired. I have the last couple of days I've been very, very tired. So if I do have anything else, obviously I'll video it and share. Um, and then I did want to real quick talk about chaffles. I so appreciate all the kind emails. I guess they're not emails. They're messages that or comments that I'm getting on YouTube about adding coconut or almond flour to my chaffles to make them less achy. I do know that that's a possibility. And um, at some point I probably will try that. Does not look like I really oh, do not want to... Um, do too many flowers um, at this stage because I'm trying really, really hard. Hey guys, guys, like chat somewhere else. Um, there's no privacy when you have seven kids still at home. Okay, you guys have to be quiet, seriously, like just for a second because I can't even think. Um, I'm trying to avoid the flowers. Let's just make it quick and simple. I have no problem with other people doing them. I have done them in the past. I've There have been weeks where I've had a lot of fathead pizza dough, and that has almond flour in it. I have no problem with it. Or those keto bagels. I used to have those a lot too. But right now, I'm personally trying really hard to not do anything like that because I... Um, I'm trying to get a little more into therapeutic keto, which is a little stricter, and I'm really, really contemplating doing that for myself. Um, I thought I would just kind of let myself have flowers and things like that through the holidays to make it through and not have any slip-ups and everything, but I'm actually wondering if that might make it harder for me. Like, I know I can do that, but I don't want to be like, oh, well, it's the holidays. I'm going to now have you know, almond flour in everything or whatever. And I'm not, I super do not care if other people do that. Not judging. If you, if that's what you got to do to be keto, good, do it. Totally do it. But for myself, I'm feeling like, um, as it is, I'm struggling with the keto ice cream. I really think that, I mean, I have several in my freezer still from back when I got them on sale, which was probably really stupid of me to do that because they're just always there. But I have told myself I don't care if Rebel is here now. I'm not buying it anymore. Not for a long time. And I've got to get to the point where I don't let myself have the ice cream. I know it's not a super bad thing, but like for me, like I just want to have a little more discipline. I want... Um, I want to try and get a little more of a clean keto, which I don't know if I really ever can, to be honest, because... Um, 
Sometimes I just need fake sugar. And sometimes I need a fathead pizza dough or a fathead bagel. So I don't want those to be things that I have every single day is what I'm saying. And that's just a personal thing. That's just for me. So um, I do know that you can put those into the truffles and it does definitely make them taste better. I am sure. But I'm trying really hard to save my extra carbs for other things, if that makes sense. Um, and so anyway, it's just kind of like this just weird personal experiment that I'm doing to see how disciplined I can be, how careful I can be. Um, so I totally appreciate all the comments, suggestions, friendship, support. You guys are awesome. And thanks to my new subscribers. I totally love, it's fun to see that you have a new subscriber. I... Uh, kind of in the beginning I never cared about this in fact for like a whole year I never cared and it's not like I care like ooh I have a new subscriber I'm getting popular it's just kind of fun like you have a new friend if that makes sense it's kind of weird but thank you because that's fun um, I am not going to talk anymore tonight and the only thing you'll see after this is if I happen to eat anything tonight which I doubt I will but I do think I might have a peppermint herbal tea with heavy whipping cream um, and I may or may not even show it. We'll see. Um, just imagine either I have one or I don't, and maybe I'll talk about it tomorrow, but I'm not going to eat any more food. I think if I have anything else, like I said, the tea or like a uh, sparkling water, just some kind of liquid. Um, I, I kind of, if I do go out with my husband or anything like that I do try really hard to not eat a whole bunch the rest of the day even though even keeping it keto um I try really hard not to because when you don't make food yourself there could be hidden things in there and you know I don't want to ramble on and on and on but you know that's where we're at and I am a tired mama who's been doing way too much math the last few days my brain hurts and just a whole lot of stuff. A whole lot of stuff. Sometimes life piles it on. And it's it's a good... I, I really feel like sometimes God tests us. And strengthens us through these little tests. So um, I'm ready. I'm just like hoping that tomorrow I can wake up and get back on track and be a normal person. And exercise and eat a chaffle and, you know, get back on track. But thanks for sticking around, and if you made it this far, you deserve a gold star, and I will see you tomorrow.